Morning Grammy. Radio One Breakfast Show with Nick Grimshaw. Jake Gyllenhaal, welcome. I actually like you a lot. Right, well, thank you, Jake. That was also me acting. Nick Grimshaw. You're listening to the original Gangster Radio. This is amazing. Wake up. Wake up. Give it to me. With BBC Radio One. Good morning. Good morning. I feel a bit sick about this. You are no longer... We would say this sentence, Harry from One Direction. You are now Harry Styles' solo artist. How does that feel and how does it feel now knowing that this is like day one of a really important, you know, new chapter in your life? It's a bit weird. I feel like I've been hibernating in the studio yeah. for so long. And you Where? kind of hear it in like the safety of the studio and everything. And now... It's time to like give birth. Give birth. Yeah. The nine months are over. The yeah. baby's been a brewin. Yeah. It's a good song, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's the it's the song I'm most proud of uh-huh. writing, I think. It feels like so a smack far. in the face as well. It's Thanks. not it's not I like to I, smack in the face. Yeah, it's like Amir and this is what I sound like. It's massive. Cool. And it sounds really good in here. And it's gonna sound really it good. It sounds in good in here when you're singing the high bits. That's my only issue with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't can't sing along to this. The first time I played it for you and you were like, Yeah, but I can't sing it because of the Can you thing. change the single? I'm not going to be able to we'll sing along to us. Can we talk about that time, the first time I heard it? Yeah. And we are in your car. Yeah. And I knew I had to wear it before the interview. That would be wise. But it's always a little bit weird. And yeah. it's weird for me, and it's weird for you. Yeah. Because you've made something, and you're showing it to somebody, and I've got to like listen to it with you. And that's never not going to be weird, I don't think. Yeah. In How- the car's the best time, because I get... Because I have to like look at the road and yeah. of, like staring you in the face, being like, "What do you think?" Yeah, I was just praying no, for no traffic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, traffic lights. Are like, no! Oh my god, I have to look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> but I did feel really terrified. I was prepared to do a stop, drop, and roll uh, yeah. if we slowed down, if it was bad. But thankfully, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like we both knew that's what we were doing that day. Yeah, no one wanted to we bring like, it up. Do you want to get breakfast? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Should we go for lunch now? Yeah, okay. yeah. Jim? Yeah. Okay. I was like, gonna have to hear this song, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, thankfully, it sounds really, really good. Thank you. Who did you first play it to? Like, when you'd finished doing it, who was the first go to person? Um, well, we wrote, like, most of the album in Jamaica. Uh-huh. I was in Jamaica for, like, two months. Did you go there um, for a specific reason or just because nice out? I just wanted to not be somewhere I was gonna get distracted, honestly. We were all like living together with the guys I did it with. And it was like 360, you were kind of writing. You'd go home for dinner and then you'd write at the house Uh and then go back to the studio. I really liked kind of being away from everything and doing it like that. Have you played it to your mum? I have. Um, And what did your mum think? uh, My mum liked it. Yeah. Which was handy. Yeah. But you know what? I feel like your your mum and your family, they're they're pretty honest with you, aren't they? They keep you down to earth. Yeah. They're not too gassed no. about your success, which no. I really, really like. I loved it when it was like over Christmas time, mm. but there was some film on, and it was your mum and Robin. Mm. And you said, oh, she's not very good at acting. And Robin was like, all right, Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> Been in one film. <laughs> like, um, I really yeah. like that they bring you down to earth. Yeah, I think I played the album to the, to the <laughs> first time, and there's one song on the album where there's like a bit with like a vocal effect on it. And um, my stepdad goes, where did you get the duck from? Like, how did you get a duck in the studio? I'm like, no, nah, that, that was me. Thanks. But thanks. Right. Yeah, but I'm glad that, that Yeah, I didn't like the duck. The Radio, the radio 1 Breakfast Show. One. With Nick Grimshaw. We go. A big day today. We didn't know where you'd been. You'd been in, like, the ether, and you'd been offline mm. and stuff. And then we saw the white <clears throat> squares. Ooh. Do you know the furore that happens when the white squares happen? Um, like, it kicks off. Because you're not, like, you're not like massively into Twitter and Instagram. You're on it, but you're I not like on it. it like uh, I like it. I just don't like saying something for the sake of it. Oh, I'd I do. Like, uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, I make a career out of yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when the white squares happened, yeah. everyone was like, it's coming. Yeah. Then we saw the, the advert mm. where it was wet and looking into the distance. Yes. Does a lot of thought go into that? Like when you're in the studio and you've done it, when it's all finished, yeah. are you like, all right, how, how do we make <clears throat> this happen? Like, How much thought's gone into like your hairdo? 
Um, oh, not what? so much on the hairdo. I can see. Um, uh, I walked <laughs> just in. Kidding, just kidding. No, I think you finished like the album, and you're like, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> really oh, no. enjoyed the process. <laughs> now I have to do all the other stuff. Yeah. Which is amazing. I've just never done it like this before. Right. Be, kind of being across like absolutely everything. And it's do you have really to have fun. meetings of like where people are like, well, what font <clears throat> should we use on Harry? Yeah. That's when you realize you. That's when you feel like you're adminning. Yeah. It's like fonting. Yeah. All, all, and then you realize how particular you are about fonts. Yeah. And they send one font. You're like, well, that's not the right font. I, I'm. You didn't so think you were bothered about fonts. Oh, it's all I'm bothered about is a font. Yeah. I always slag people up. I won't <coughs> reply to people if they've used a bad font in their emails. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no way. Like people who email in red. Get out of people it. People email in red. You loser. Why? God, someone emailed me once in Comic Sans and I vomited. <laughs> I saw an article online yesterday about the man who designed Comic Sans defending himself. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. He was like, he's defending his font. <laughs> like, Will you defend your font? Absolutely. I yeah, would. you live. Um, and then, do you have to do anything to get into the frame of mind of being back in the public eye and, like, you know, I'm going to like meditate more, I'm going to work out more, get more sleep? Is there anything um, you have to do to sort of condition your brain for this? Yeah, I think I've definitely been like, all right. Because I've been hibernating, for sure. Uh -huh. Kind of trying to get it already. Because so. this is going to be the start of, of promo. And I guess yeah. the first time you've ever done it on your own. Great yeah. in one direction, because if you're a bit tired or something, yeah. let Liam Take do this it or something. One, yeah, so yeah, come on, you do this one. But now, no, no. Yeah. It's all on you. Yeah. How does that feeling feel? Um, <laughs> good, I think, it's gonna, I think it's going to be fun. It's not like I'm traveling on my own now yeah i have like a band and everything uh -huh. so and they're all amazing you must have done like really weird promo in your time like when you've been to There's i feel like spain some, does weird stuff yeah a lot of the time like some of the european it's mainly just the questions right some of the questions are quite i think there was one time a couple of years ago i think it was in france and the first question i was asked was would you ever pee in a sink and i was like what do you mean and they're like, well, Akon said that he would pee in a sink. So would you pee in a sink? I like, well, <laughs> was it, uh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't really know. Uh, that that was the opener. Yeah, congrats on the brand new album. Would you pee in a sink? We like what? Yeah. Uh, would you? Mm, don't think so. If you had to, <laughs> have you? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. That's disgusting. Everyone. No. No, it's gross. Let's not talk about this in the morning, Harry. It's, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think has been your most asked question? Which now we're starting the promo fresh. Mm. Just get it out there. You don't want to be asked this. I don't know. I feel like crush is, is asked a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't ask that. Yeah. No. Like it's not. It's, it's lazy. Yeah. It's and we I mean. know everyone. <laughs> Aww. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. Uh -huh. The Radio 1 Breakfast Show With Nick Grimshaw um, You're doing Saturday Night Live next week I am Hey Adele, <clears throat> she said that Saturday Night Live was the thing that made her Like stratospheric huge mm. like, That was the thing Because it was one of the most watched Saturday Night Lives ever mm. And she was you know, doing alright Adele She was hugely successful She was already on the show Because you don't go on the show unless you're successful right, yeah. But she said when she performed that it went through the roof. It went in crazy for her. Has she been, because I know you know her, mm. and she lives in LA and you're in LA a lot. Have you spoke to her about the record or played um, on the record? I've spoken to her a little bit. She knows one of the guys I wrote it with a right. lot. But I don't think like so much advice. I think from her, she's, I, I just like how she does stuff. Mm -hmm. I think she leads by example. And I mean, she's the biggest. She's yeah. amazing. The thing is with her is like when she sings, She's like a different thing. She's uh -huh. like on her own thing, which is amazing. And I think she does things on her own terms, doesn't she? You know. Yeah, I think. I think the thing is, I think she's just like she's just good at it. She's I trust it. Like, yeah. Don't you? I just I like how she like does everything. I yeah. think it always looks very nice how yeah. she does stuff. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk about the present that she got you for your twenty-first birthday? Sure. So for my twenty-first, she gave me a um, one of her albums, twenty-one. Um, said I did some pretty cool stuff when I was 21. Good luck. And I was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> no pressure. Just the biggest album ever. <laughs> but Adele, what Adele's managed to do, I think, mm. that I think you've managed to do very well, mm. and this is a compliment, is really remain yourselves. And like the amount of fame that you guys have acquired 
and the amount of attention and the amount that everyone, you know, is quite up for slagging off famous people or people mm. who do well. You've both managed to remain very, very normal. Appreciate that. Yeah. Apart from those trousers, <laughs> I'd say you're exactly uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's wearing a check trouser. I expect nothing less. Um, is it quite hard to stay to stay grounded because your life is not <clears throat> is not normal? Like you can't just go out without someone going, Harry Styles! Um, I think it's easier if like in the way that I like to separate stuff from working and kind of being at home with family and stuff. Right. I think when you separate it, it's easier. To kind of real, kind of see it for what it is. Right. I think when when you let it become everything, and that's kind of your whole life, I think then it's easy to get a bit lost in it. But I have, I mean, I'm lucky. I have amazing friends, and my family is amazing. So I think they make it easier to keep the separation between the two, which yeah. makes it easier for me. Is it easier in LA? Um, I don't think so. I think it depends. I have a lot of friends who've moved there for uh-huh. work and stuff, but I like both. I love I love living in London. It's I'm pro- here most of the time. It's probably easier to get a, like a nice kale salad in LA because I know you experienced that drama last night. Yeah, I had some friends over from. Oh God, uh, get a load of this guy's had a night. I had some <laughs> friends in from from LA. Yeah. And they were like, let's order in for dinner. And I was like, cool. And they were like, let's just get some salads or something. And I was like, you don't really do that here. Don't really I don't really know anywhere you can order in a salad. No, I mean, it doesn't travel. No. Do you ever miss, like, what, what food do you miss from um, there, I miss uh, fruit pastels. Yeah. Um, Branston pickles, the big one. Yes. And a roast dinner. Yeah, roast dinner. I roast dinner. Do you ever make a roast dinner at your house? Um, in I, LA? I, I have done, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. tried to do that once in your home, and you had no pans. Like, yeah, no, I've got more no, pans now. No cooking stuff. I've got more pans now. And me and my friend Remy, or our friend Remy, we were like, we'll buy him a chicken, we'll get him roast <laughs> potatoes. Pop yeah, star I kitchen. have pans now. You got pans I did now. get some pans. Okay, yeah. congratulations Thank on you. that. A new single, new pans. New pans. You're a new man, Harry. I feel my life is looking up. It's doing all right, isn't it? The Radio 1 Breakfast Show with Nick Grimshaw. <laughs> but this, I feel like, is the most anticipated song of the year. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I'm telling Thanks. you, it is. Do you want to be? You. Do you want to be my email chain for the last week? It's, it's anticipated. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's very, very, people are excited about this. Thank you. And so oh my. it's very exciting that we get to play this for the first time to the world. Mm. And so exciting, in fact. Mm-hmm. Um, so many people have been in touch. I've been basically harassed by Harry Styles fans for the past week or so, when, you know, since they've known this has been happening. And um, I thought I'd reach out to some of your peers <clears throat> to get some questions. Okay. So we're going to hear from some famouses, some people from the world of music mm-hmm. who who love Harry. Thank you. And they wanted to send in a message and a question. So you have no idea about these people, do you? I don't know who's on here. This is a surprise. On this one? On this little computer next to you, if you give that a little tap for me. Du- a little tappy tap. A little tappy tappy, you'll oh. have a question from one of your celebrity fans. Okay. Now? Yeah. Hello, Harry Styles. My name's Chris. I've been a fan of yours for a long, long time. You're the biggest face on my One Direction tattoo. And I was just wondering, I wrote to the fan club, Harry Styles fan club, to see about if I could be working there as a job. Like, I'll clean anything, you know. But no one wrote back to me. And I was wondering if you could tell me what would be the best way of advancing. I'm in a job right now that I like, but I would give it all up to run your fan club so this is really just like a, an application letter um, to you let me know all the best man <laughs> <laughs> there we go Christopher Martin there um, with a question to run the fan club um, I'd say that he has to focus on what he'd like to do at the fan club okay um, he said he'd clean everything I think it, it, anything it makes him yeah. look like he's not focused. Right. I think he needs to say, I want to do this job, and I think I can do it. Mm. But yeah. Yes, Chris Martin. Yes, Chris.